Okay, so we found the gemstone. It was not here, but it in fact shifted to this side of the ring. And now what's happened is the metal has been polished so thin that you can take uh, your pokey tool and just very gently slide it onto the surface. Let's adjust the lighting so it's not terrible. There we go. So you can just peel right underneath that foil and I'm rocking the tool back and forth to roll the remaining silver foil out of the way of the gemstone. And this is something that requires a lot of patience and attention to detail. So if you've got optimizers, uh, 5x will, will be where you want to be, 5 times magnification. And just very carefully apply firm pressure while you rock your tool, and this could be done with an engraver, but it's going to dull the engraver. So this is actually a modified dental tool with a chamfered edge, and uh, it's stainless steel, so it's hard enough to cut through the silver, but not so hard that we're too worried about the sapphire, and then the polished edge is what's rolling on the sapphire face. So as we rock that back, you can see there's more access to the stone. And it's literally just switching back and forth between the polishing wheel and kind of this poke and peel option to get the silver out of the way. So you alternate back and forth. But there's our gemstone. More light. Focus here, please. There we go. So that's where we're at. And we'll go back to finishing unearthing the sapphire. Uh, one, one point I would like to make is that you don't need to excavate from the backside. That's that's a choice, but it is completely optional. If you want to try and get in there with the drill and see the back of your stone, you can. But to have it fully captured like this, that's an aesthetic choice. Okay, so the sapphire has been uncovered. You can see the full stone. However, when you look closely, you can see that there is a fracture in the table of the gemstone. And that is most likely due to the thermal shock of this lower portion not being exposed to a solid sheet of silver cooling and cracking around it. Uh, however, I want to be clear that the fracture may have occurred during the removal of the silver process, this prying motion across the table can add a lot of pressure that will focus onto the surface of the table and get it to fracture. So right now on the back of the ring, the metal is supported, supporting the culet, giving it a very strong compression rate. And so that rocking motion of torque can force the table to fracture. However, that is not helped by the difference in cooling rate from this uppermost portion of the table and the lowermost portion of the table because the uppermost portion has been fully covered by metal and that difference in cooling rate will thermal shock uh, one side of the stone making it more prone to fracture where the the cooling rates are not the same so again it's not clear if the thermal shock fractured the stone or the application of pressure to remove the foil fractured the stone or most likely some combination of the two.